Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm not doing too bad. I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. We'll see what kind of messages Spirit has for us for the next few days. This will be for all those who are already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. So there is an energy of business, taking care of business, um, entrepreneurship for some of you. This is an energy of knowing what you want, going after it, standing tall in your convictions, um, not taking no for an answer. This is a powerful um, standing up for what you believe in type of energy. We do have the four of clubs, which tells me that there's a little bit of money fluctuation. Some of you may be uh, feeling like you're going through um, situations or maybe you are going through situations where you're feeling like you don't have enough money to spend or maybe you just feel like you need to start to budget or something. I don't know, but there's something about learning lessons when it comes to uh, and involving money. Yes, they're saying. Um, I For whatever reason, I'm also feeling like there's like an emotional energy coming with the, the Four of Cups. I'm kind of feeling like... <sighs> A little bit like you don't have what you want. You've been working hard towards getting what you want. And you're getting frustrated. One, two, three. With not getting exactly what it is that you want. So some of you may be going through that type of energy. We are um, going through a little bit of a tower moment. But what I'm feeling for most of you. This tower is not feeling really bad. It's not making you feel like everything's happening all at once. It's more of like. Let's just shake some things up. So that we can see exactly what we still need to do. I feel like there's a lot of energy of planning, going within, um, asking what your next steps are, and then taking those steps accordingly. The sun card tells me that there is happiness that is coming. This is brighter days ahead. This is a message letting me know that some of you should expect that things are starting to move forward for you is what I'm feeling. This could also rec uh, be referring to a marriage or even an engagement but i'm feeling for most of you that this is just talking about happiness um prospects of brighter days but um a feeling like there's a little bit of flow that's coming i do feel like many of you even though you're going through this little bit of things being shaken up you still see that as things are being shaken up there's a lot of good that's coming out of it i do feel like most of you this shaking up type of energy is bringing you into like a forward movement you're coming out of an energy of halting or being in like a halt type stage to this energy of forward movement and moving fast for some of you we do have the queen of cups which tells me that there's something about um i'm going i'm feeling again the emotions but i'm feeling like the emotions like this is referring to like this energy of learning to not judge yourself maybe some of you are in this energy of judging yourself for not being exactly where you want to be for starting a project and not finishing it or, you know, I just feel like there's a lot of, if I had done this, I would have this by now, three, two, one, or, you know, what have you. But what Spirit is saying is that they're wanting you to acknowledge that this card is all about nurturing. This is nurturing of yourself, your mind, body, and soul, being gentle with yourself. But I just keep getting this energy, three, three, three and three three six i was told to tell you guys anyhow look those up on sacred scribes but i'm feeling like this energy of like just be gentle with yourself learn how to nurture your mind body and soul but especially something about the heart and paying attention to what your heart's saying what your heart wants what your heart is speaking to you at this time i was told to read the bottom which is the eight of cups this is you know letting me know that some of you are walking away from money situations that that could have been somewhat problematic or caused a little bit of issues for you and moving into calmer waters so i do feel like even though half of these cards make me feel like eh, i just don't really know what i'm feeling right now to also like feeling yes i'm happy things are going well you know it's not so bad so it's like there's a little bit of tower moment 
you know, situations. There's a little bit of money um, fluctuations and stuff. But at the same time, it's like it's also moving from not being those things and to be in the opposite of those things. So exactly what you're wanting. So to switch gears a little bit, Spirit tells me that a lot of us are going through some ascension symptoms right now. Many of you are probably off and on experiencing migraine headaches, um, fluctuations with like the way that your eyes are working one minute being crystal clear images that you're seeing to the next minute being like blurry and uh, maybe eyes are burning, itching like you have... Um, they're saying like you have allergies or something, but this is not an allergy. I don't know why they're having me shuffle these cards this way. I never do. Anyhow, um, it, it's going to feel a little bit like allergies is, is what I'm feeling. However, I'm also getting that some of you are having a lot of stiffness in the neck as well as something to do with pain in the um, pads of the feet. So some of you may be going through that as well. So we do have New Earth, which is asking you to, even though you're going through these moments of feeling like there's a lot of, um, I don't want to say a lot, but a little bit of confusion because it seems like you're, even though you're moving out of some of these energies, the confusion lies right in the middle. Like, am I supposed to be going this way or that way? Do I need to hang on to this type of energy or do I need to let go? Is this uh, you know, chaos and confusion and this tower moment happening because it's not meant for me or is it? So it's like there's a little bit of confusion right in the middle where you're switching from one cycle to the other. It's not that you're really wrong in feeling the way that you do. I feel like this is an emotional response or some sort of emotional tie that you have to these things that are clearing or what have you. But Spirit is saying, you know, keep going. Don't stop now. Keep the vision, keep holding the vision of that future that you is wanting because it is happening. This is the time for you to jump right into a situation, a project. For many of you, this is entrepreneurship. This is some sort of business endeavor that you are engaging in. For many of you, I feel like there's a... Um, a calling that is involved in this, but I also feel like this is a partnership meant to partner up with others. Um, for whatever reason, Dorothea, I'm hearing your name, so this may be referring to you. Uh, big picture thinking tells me that there is um, a lot of inspired ideas that may be coming from spirit at this time. This may come in uh, flashes of images in your mind. It could be like discernment of spirit that you're getting when you're talking to somebody even, but um there's just these ideas that are coming to you, even though I feel like, okay, this is the weird thing. This is like straddling the fence here. It's moving into this energy of not quite being in the middle, but going into the next phase in something. So I feel like if you're not having those inspired ideas or creative type of 727 or creative type of energies that are coming to you, this is something that you're just now tiptoeing into. If you see this line here, there's a little bit of this card going into the next um, section. So it, you're just tiptoeing into this like creative or inspired type of energy um, where you've been feeling a little bit stagnant you're probably starting to feel a little bit of flow however again like this is in the middle of the this reading so this could be in the middle of the week this week it could be the middle of the month it just depends on when you're watching this and you know how it resonates with you and everything but anyhow um I do kind of get this energy of like drinking wine and I am not a drinker anymore. I haven't drank in 14 years, but I'm kind of even having the taste of drinking wine. So I, as I'm like getting this taste and like feeling like I'm drinking wine, I get a feeling of laughter and celebration. So there's definitely some things worth celebrating. We do have the Glankener, which tells me that there's a little bit of... <sighs> There's a couple things I'm getting from this. I'm getting, this is like a deceptive type of energy. So some of you may be feeling decepted or deceived, not decepted, deceived by someone, something, a situation, maybe the way the things are panning out or working out or what have you. But what I'm really feeling is this is spirit's way of telling me like, it may feel this way, but it's not actually the truth. What it is, is that you're moving from ending one cycle and moving into a new cycle. So it feels unfamiliar. So that unfamiliar type of energy is what you're tapping into. But spirit is saying, you know, things are flowing. Things are moving ahead. Happiness is coming. There's uh, brighter days ahead. But I'm feeling also with this, this is an energy of like gossip, judgment. I don't normally don't get that with this, but I'm feeling like this may be that judgment that I was feeling from, from you in the very beginning, like judging self, because it's kind of like right underneath the sun and, and the Queen of Cups, which was talking about nurturing yourself. 
Okay, we have two cards back to back that are kind of cautioning us about something. I feel like this is about the judgment that you're judging yourself, the things that you're judging yourself for. But I also am feeling like even with this one, there's some sort of gossip um, talking behind somebody's back. I don't know if this is you doing this and spirit saying stop that. That's a low vibrating energy. Or if this is spirit's warning you, if you've been having your ears ringing or you've just been hearing your name called, and you might even know exactly who's calling your name or what have you. This is spirit's way of just giving you a heads up like so-and-so is talking about you. Stay away from them, you know, or what have you. But this could just be also for some of you that you are engaging in telepathic communications and you're starting to like really hone in on what others are thinking about you what they're feeling about you so if it's a romantic connection maybe you're feeling the love and the desire that somebody has or you know the passion or what have you um if it's somebody that's you know talking about you or gossiping or what have you then this is an energy of uh, you, you feel that somebody has it out for you or you need to watch your back or what have you. Maybe you don't know exactly who it is that's talking or judging you or what have you, but there's just like this discernment of spirit that keeps telling you like watch so-and-so or don't go this direction towards them or, you know, what have you. But I just get a little bit of like warning. Something is ju judging you. Somebody's gossip. Somebody's gossiping. Um, maybe this is you and spirit is warning you to stop doing so. Yes, yes, yes. Which cards do I go to, please? Thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please, for the next few days, for all those who are already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please? So, I got the wine card, which is all about cheerfulness, celebration, coming together is what I'm feeling with this. This is also a queen card, so I feel like many of you are, like, stepping into uh, that energy of, you know, Self-love, self-care, nurturing, uh, not just nurturing self, but nurturing others, they're saying with this card. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but this is telling me that there's going to be a lot to, to celebrate, even though it may feel like things aren't completely how you want them right now. There's still some things that are worth celebrating. Yeah. So it's like one energy tells me things are going to be really, really good. The next energy tells me you're going through a tower moment. There's some tricks up the universe's sleeve. You may feel like things just aren't flowing exactly the way that you want them. However, I keep getting this image. It's an illusion. This is not the way that it really is. A lot of you are in the process of receiving blessings that you've been asking for or been trying to manifest for quite some time. I'm just going to use me as an example. I've been wanting my kids back in my life for a while. Now, my son's been in my life the whole entire time, but I still um, desired him to be in my life even more. My daughter, who was adopted, is now back in my life. I had been manifesting that, been praying and praying and praying visualizing and things of that sort even though my other daughter hasn't came back in my life i am still having blessings come they're spending more time with me on the weekends reason for why i don't get videos done on the weekend you know they're spending more time with me through the week so they're another reason for why i'm not doing as many live feeds but i'm being blessed at the same time it feels like it's kind of taking me away from other aspects of my life that i had been working really hard on but spirit saying those things can be put on hold because certain blessings you have to adjust to and certain things you have to just kind of fall they have to just kind of fall in order so i feel like as things are falling in order or you know you're being blessed you're also feeling like the universe is kind of tricking you or taking things away from you that you're not understanding but i really feel like it's really something you should smile about and you know not take real real seriously because i feel like it's just because of you moving into a new direction into a new cycle we do have the railroad which talks about a journey okay this could mean that you're um for whatever reason they're showing me that there is not a train on the track so you may feel like you're kind of sitting off to the side and uh you know in dormant mode or you know the train the caboose is not moving right now or they're saying that's what you're feeling again illusions all over the place we have tower moments illusions cautioning you that this energy is not factual it's not it's not real so you know even though you feel like you're not on the tracks you're still on the right track you're still going in the right direction you're still moving forward you're still uh, producing some sort of order okay and so these illusions are just that they're not facts so don't fall into the energy of uh i'm gonna quit now because you know nothing seems to be going my way everything's going your way is what i'm feeling 
I was told to read the bottom card, and I guess this one's wanting to come out as well. So the ring is talking about the completion of something. There's an ending of a cycle and moving into new cycles, that happiness, maybe marriage or something for some of you. 1442, for whatever reason, I was told to tell you guys. Anyhow, this is also an indicator of happy Yes, um, riches, it could be the completion of a cycle, but this also represents marriage. So for some of you, if this is referring to a uh, love situation for you, marriage may be something that is involved or could be. Some of you, there's going to be some sudden shock. This could be somebody asking you a question, hint, marriage, um, proposal of some sort. This could be, you know, somebody... Uh, leaving a certain situation in your life, 15, 15, it could be anything. But I, I do feel like for some of you, this sudden shock is going to be another blessing coming in your direction. I was told to read the next card, which is the moon, which is an indicator of good omens, uh, good tidings. It's also uh, an exposure of secrets. So maybe some of you, this random uh, sudden news or sudden change in events or uh, sudden shock from something happens to be something about secrets. This doesn't have to be bad secrets, okay? I am grateful for my ascension symptoms and the transformation that comes with them. Hang tight, I just heard. I am hope. I am generous and helpful. I am clairvoyant. I am Christ consciousness. I am higher consciousness. I am transcending animal instincts. I am healing. I am unconditional love. And last but not least, I can control the movement of objects with my thoughts and intentions. So some of you may want to uh, try and do that. I hope that you guys have a wonderful night. I am going live tonight on the Facebook group, Healings, Readings, Empowerment, and more with Trish Poe. You have to be a member to be able to uh, participate if I haven't already accepted you as a member, then make sure that you're asking to be one because if you're not one before hand, I will not be able to see your comments. Facebook will not let me see your comments. So anyhow, I hope that you guys got something out of this reading. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you don't already, just leave a couple hearts or a hand uh, waving at me, just saying hi, whatever it is, as a way of helping my channel to grow so that it gets in the algorithm and can help other people as well. I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Much love to you. Hope to see you at the live. Bye.